Hi everyone, we're back again and uh, today we, agree, we have the privilege of talking to, should I call the doctor? Janssen yeah. <laughs> uh, Sanders uh, from Panken University, I won't get a bit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to talk about uh, privacy of data and also we're going to talk about the agricultural uh, data cube that they've been running at their university. So, can, uh, welcome, Jansen. And can you tell us about your uh, the uh, privacy of data? How is it important, especially for farmers? Yes, so uh, so in the Netherlands, farmers are really concerned that their data is being used by many people, mm -hmm. but they don't really have access to their data. So they see that they can make better advice based on data and can improve their farming. But then they don't feel that they they have the agency or the control over who does what with the data. So there are farmers who are more activists and they want to get this control back, and they are thinking of how to yeah how to exert their influence more. And and uh, so far, what measures have you been able to put in so that you can help the farmers? I think I mean with the farmers, I think we have been till now unfortunately mostly discussing with them. So there is, an, uh, I think, one important initiative in the Netherlands is something called joint data, which is an authorization mechanism for the farmer to authorize the data to be shared from one company to the, to the other company. So that at least the companies that can benefit both from the, the data of the farmer, but, the, but the, what's still missing for the farmer there is that he doesn't have himself the data. So he can, he can share his data with other companies and that helps to make better services for farmers. Um, but he doesn't have yet his own control and he doesn't yet um, yeah, can you know, really see what data we all have about him. And so and, um, and one thing we have been doing at the university is that we're noticing a lot of um, firms, uh, private sector, also government were struggling with getting all the data together on the farm. And also the farmers. So we started working with the open data the government made available. It published quite a lot of data as a government, and then we we all cleaned it and aligned it so that we have a data collection on farmer parcels, so that we know per parcel what data there is, what the, how the growth was, how the weather weather was, what soils you can find what the height of the parcel is. And some parcels mm -hmm. are below sea level, yes. so they are minus and on the yeah. plus. But, uh, and this we, this we published as a data warehouse, and now everybody can use it and uh, get the data and it's fully open and open with open source and open access. And there have been uh, startups using the data, and some farmers, have, some more advanced tech, tech farmers have been mm -hmm. using the data and really create a lot of interest from uh, different communities and i believe what you're talking about is the open uh the agricultural data cube yeah and uh, i like in kenya we we signed up for it and uh we are still yet to utilize it how has it benefited your country and your your farmers yeah i think i mean we're still at the start of it so mm -hmm. i think these these things take time to mature in a way so we started about one year ago then we started with making the data and talking to firms, and now we have um, a, a, a nine, nine sort of institutional users on it. And then you should think, for example, there's a startup called Hallo Boer, and what they do is they try to connect farmers locally with consumers, so that the farmers can publish like, okay, I've got these crops, and I've got, I'm making this cheese, and then consumers can go to it. And for that, to make the, the, the publishing of the data, some of the data comes out of our agrodata queue, mm -hmm. so okay. that they can give sort of the context of where the farm is, what crops he's growing, these type of things. Another example is that the water company, uh, we, we, we purchase the soil quality is using the data also to look at the environmental performance of farms. And, and yeah, this way is, um, we, are, we are trying to help the farming sector. And I think the, the, the data queue really helped to have a central point for all these farms all these could connect to. Yeah. yeah, and and uh, that get, that then uh, takes me to the last question, and even like as we we're about to wind up, is that um, uh, bringing up or building up this platform was it very costly? 
it does it run to billions of shillings or how much did you spend i don't have to think how much two billions of shillings is uh, uh, like uh, uh, say two billion dollars no, 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 no. <laughs> no, so we spent i think till now uh, we were financed by the ministry of, Eco of economic affairs and agriculture uh, um, we spend around 150,000 euros, mm -hmm. which would be, I think, 1 million, no, 1 million, five, 15, yeah, yeah, 15 yeah, million yeah, children, yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, and that's, I mean, and we noticed one thing we noticed that if we, in building it, we needed to spend like around maybe 50,000 euros in data cleaning. And then um, these 50,000 euros, if each firm would need to spend that, they spend much more. So they, you know, each individual is spending. So a lot of firms, and so farms, you know, they can't spend 50,000 euros on, on, on something like this. So having this centrally and having it sort of as a public facility, you could say, would really help to bring this, uh, make this next, make these new applications possible faster. So even though we have been going only for a year, there have been many coming now and actually the nice thing is today we are um, we are in a competition for the open data award for the Netherlands so they recognize the government of the Netherlands gives an open data award every year and they recognize law initiatives as one of the seven to be in the competition for this in the finals so colleagues of mine are now pitching and hopefully they will win today which is sort of recognition that we're doing something at least relevant from that perspective also Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we look forward to hearing more and learning. Yeah, it will be I think guys. it would be great if also in other countries, I think to me it could be beneficial also for Kenya, but also many African countries to get the data together you have and really see what you can do with it. Thank you very Thank much. You.